this is the joys of using wicking grow beds made out of cut in half IBC totes. I don't waste any water. There's no runoff. There's no runoff um, at all because they have a built in reservoir at the bottom and it saves 70% more water than traditional growing food. So. Bananas looking good. That's a red grapefruit tree. Pomegranate over here with a grapevine behind it. It's supposed to be in 100 all week. Above 100 degrees all week. 199. 100 to 99 degrees, I mean. Not 199, folks. <laughs> You'll laugh at yourself. You know. You gotta laugh at yourself sometimes. <laughs> we're human we make mistakes we're not perfect this is a pomegranate haven't got any fruit out fruit out of this this thing's been growing like crazy it was a little seven inch little pomegranate when I put it in here about five or four months ago now look at it I'm getting some fruit out of this thing pretty soon hopefully citrus this is a uh, Satsuma orange, I believe, I'm thinking. We might get some, some summer rain showers. I can feel a cool breeze coming in. And I can see the clouds forming, getting thicker up there. This normally means we're probably going to get a, a hot, real quick rain shower in the afternoon sometime. There's a goji berry right there. That's my goji berry in this 50 gallon barrel. Just putting out new leaves. I wasn't watering like I should on this goji berry, and now it's coming back. See that goji berry vine coming all the way across? Give it some water. There's my corn behind me. Look at all that. Look at that corn. I got ears on it. It's growing good. I've already watered the corn already. This is Genesis Life Wayne 69. Coming to you from his backyard food forest. I gotta clean that cucumber bed up and plant something else in there because the sun burned it up. A few cucumbers left. There's turmeric. Have a nice morning. I'll be back.